Here's a stock WGP three-way we're going to rebuild. First thing I'm going to do is remove the C-clip with my needle tool. Just pop that out. Next thing I'm going to do is use the other side of my needle tool, just a blunt edge to push out my three-way and the retaining brass piece on the end. Now we can look down my three-way and we'll see that it's empty. Nothing left in there. Well, actually the end is left in there, but we're not going to take the end out unless those O-rings are leaking and they're not. So now I take two fresh O-rings out with my O-ring bag and I remove the two O-rings that are currently on the three-way spool. They're chilling. They're just ripping in half. So I can take them off with my needle tool. Once I have both of those off, then I will start putting my new O-rings on. I can use my needle tool to stretch the O-ring over the edge. Just be careful not to scratch your O-ring or to puncture it. For the back side, I'm just going to start pushing it on the rear. Just be careful not to scrape it on the three-way actuating arm screw hole. Use my needle tool to just put it, push it over the back lip. There we go. Now I'm going to put a little bit of KC Trouble Free Oil on there. And I'm going to reassemble in the three-way from the front. O-ring looks okay on there. Push my three-way end cap on push it down a little bit with my needle tool, take my C-clip, get it started by hand, make sure my end clip is in far enough that it is. Then I can kind of push my one side in and then finally push the end of the clip in. But mostly I start on one side and I just kind of push down all around. And there we go. Now it's reassembled. I kind of stroke it back and forth and it feels nice and smooth. Thank <laughs> you.